Good morning. Happy Halloween. -y. Happy Halloween. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. I was so looking forward to this, Debbie, because I must say I'm a fan of you, my friend. Thank so you. I was so looking. Yeah, yeah. How are you? I'm great. You know that I named my Hallmark movie boyfriend who turned into my Hallmark movie husband just <gasps> on TV, not in real life. I named him Noah. What? Oh, my goodness. And speaking about Hallmark, Debbie, I am actually going to be working with the Hallmark Channel for their Countdown to Christmas. I'm attending their Christmas Con event. You know, you're in New York. You should totally go. It's in New Jersey next weekend on the 8th uh, through the 10th. Oh, I will be in the Dominican Republic on stage, but I will be sending oh. them a big kiss on Instagram. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you too, Noah. Oh, my I send my love right back to you, Debbie. That's Thank right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Debbie. Well, let's get started. So I'm really excited for this because I got I love Nickelodeon. I got to attend the Kids Choice Sports Awards um, this past summer. Nickelodeon is just an all-around great network for family and yes, kids. Yes, they just are. All the above. So, the, you know, the wait for America's most musical family on Nickelodeon, it's almost over. You know, 30 talented family bands are performing all genres and take center stage in front of celebrity judges, which includes you, Debbie, mm -hmm. a Grammy Award-winning global superstar. I love her so much. Sierra. She's amazing. A, a digital media sensation, which is a big YouTube star on the world of YouTube, David Dobrik, and show host, singer, and television personality. Oh, he does it all. Nick Lachey. <laughs> he does you know, it all, indeed. <laughs> So what makes this competition series really special from all the others that we see out there on TV? Well, you know, I think that like if you if you're in a musical family, you're in it because you just love music uh -huh. and you organically were sitting around the living room one day and you go, wow, we can sing, we can harmonize, we're picking a pick up instruments. And uh -huh. so it's got this really organic thing about it. It's not like I want to make a bunch of money and I'm going to, you know, create this persona and go on this TV show. And yeah. It's like very organic, inspired, heartfelt. And the fact that there's, you know, kids singing with their dad or with their Beautiful. sisters and brothers and, and, and one group there were like, I don't know, 18 people or something. And it was like every generation up to the grandma. And grandma was like, I think she was rocking the keyboard, if I'm not mistaken. But um, <laughs> I mean, like, it really is astounding to see what has come out of living rooms across North America. Mm -hmm. And the caliber of talent is, pardon the pun, but it's off the charts. I mean, yeah. really. I mean, we were like, you know, we all expected, like, you, you kind of expect to see almost like some profession, more professional polished acts and maybe some kind of like talent show type acts. <laughs> Everybody had it going on. I mean, we had a really hard, hard time eliminating anybody. It was heartbreaking. Wow. David Do Dobrik said, oh, my God, after the first episode, I just sat in my car and like cried because I couldn't believe Aww. how real it was that yeah. we were, the fate of these acts are, are in our hands. And... And you said the wait is over. I felt I feel like someone has been kind of keeping a big secret because I've been privy to this journey and these uh, these artists. And I really think it's so such a unique a unique thing too these days for parents and kids to be able to watch something together. That's oh, yeah. cool. It's not like the parents mm. are going to get dragged in front of the TV set to watch this. <laughs> They're going to be into it. They're yes. my age. They're going to be into it. I agree. And, you know, you don't see a whole lot of programming today, especially on TV, like you were saying, Debbie, that really everyone can gather around. You know, the parents say, OK, kids, go to bed. We're watching this show that we all. <laughs> right. Like, listen, I used to watch Donnie and Marie, coincidentally or not, on Friday nights with oh. my parents, you know. Yeah. And again, they were cool. They were cool to everybody. Mm -hmm. And that Friday night, night spot. And this is 7 p.m., which is such a great spot. Everyone eats dinner. They go to the TV. Yep. I mean, it's just a really, really unique thing all across the board and to speak to your point before nickelodeon also for me i co-hosted the kids choice awards with dan schneider from head of the class tony danza and brian robbins who now you, runs Debbie. nickelodeon it's like this full circle moment like nickelodeon nickelodeon has been a part of my life also since uh -huh. i'm 16 17 years old so wow. it's incredible and to be mm -hmm. in this role on this show now it is look debbie we have so much in common oh my goodness i know you're my new bestie noah yeah yes girl yes give me a call <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna be following you on the on the social. On I'll the be social. looking over my shoulder. <laughs> oh, Debbie, I just adore you. 
All right. Well, you know, being a judge on the show, you know, like what are some of the things that you're personally looking for, um, Debbie, in, in all of these talented family acts that will walk across the stage to perform in front of you and the rest of the judges? I, you know, one of my biggest things was I liked an act who knew who they were. Like, mm, we yes. do this kind of music, we are unapologetic about it, you can like it or not. Like, I really like that, as opposed to like, oh, they didn't like what we did this week, so we're going to try this this week, or <laughs> we're going to try... It's one thing to be versatile, but it's another thing to, like, you know, just to know who you are. There's a, a groundedness about that. Mm -hmm. And then when you go to a label and they try to say, we want to put you with this producer, we, you know, you as the artist can say... Ah, that doesn't really resonate with me. You know, I grew up with this kind of music, or I prefer... And, and I just think that's an empowering thing for an act. Mm -hmm. And so I looked for that. Um, I did look, of course, for, you know, tight harmonies and musicality. But so far beyond that is is an, an, an artist's ability to connect with the audience. You know, there were great artists that did their thing, but their eyes were closed the whole time. And you could see the kids, like, going... I'm dying for you to connect with me. Come Aww. to me. You know, and so I would mm -hmm. point that out on occasion or things like, and that's how that's how I was as a judge. I tried to give some constructive little tidbits for, for them to take with them for their life or if they got through to the next week. But I think connecting, being able to really, like, speak to an audience and, and entertain and feel at ease. I mean, there's just a star quality thing. You go, can I picture this act on the Grammys this mm -hmm. year or in 30 years, uh, you know, with a long career? Um, so I looked for that, too, like an act that I thought would have the stamina and the staying power. Right. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm so happy, Debbie, that you are part of this show, and I can't wait to watch me and my family. We'll be watching America's Most Musical Family oh, premieres good. Friday. No, yeah, that's right. It premieres Friday, to, uh, November the 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on Nickelodeon. Debbie, I hate to say goodbye because I just love you. I could hang I... out with you all day, Noah. Oh, Debbie, you're the best. Thank you so much, and you have a great Halloween. You know, we're taping this on Halloween, everyone, so happy Halloween to everyone. You have a great Halloween, Debbie. You too. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>